The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org action. Well, after several months of an environmental review process, the Bemidji City Council heard the latest update on Bemidji's railroad corridor tonight. Uh, Josh Peterson has more on the development that may lie ahead. It's a small step forward for a large-scale project that has been many years in the making. After sharing his plan and vision for Bemidji's railroad corridor, Bemidji business owner Mitch Radio was looking to Bemidji City Council to jump on board with his development plan that would feature housing and retail space to office space and green space. Some council members shared Radio's vision and said now is the time to act. So I really think it's high time we got after it. Yeah. I think we should be working with Mitch. I think we ought to do whatever we need to do to get this thing off dead center. A project like this would dramatically change the culture of Bemidji and would expand the size of its downtown. For Radio, tonight's work session with the City Council was a step in the right direction. Um, we still have a long ways to go, so it was just a... Uh, um, another step in the process to uh, working together and, and uh, getting the next step done. Some council members were cautious about doing another land development deal because the city of Bemidji is still a very active player in getting the Lake Bemidji South Shore developed. However, the two projects are viewed differently. In this case, uh, we have a request to sell the property of the railroad corridor. Um, and so even doing so, we will have our hands involved in the grant cleanup. The city of Bemidji purchased the railroad corridor back in 2003. Since then, little has been done to the property with the exception of a public trail that cuts through the land. Many view this project as a way to build more taxable income for the city. At the end of the day, to turn it into taxable property mm -hmm. and private, and it'll be a benefit for the downtown. While breaking ground for the project remains in the distant future, tonight the city of Bemidji took the first step by choosing to hire a consultant to assist in the process. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. If the project does go through, the city of Bemidji could see a property tax increase of $266,800 annually. No date has been arranged to make a purchase agreement for the property. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.